Senator Akbabio Sack, aid after being captured with Ghana must go back. The Minister of Niger Delta Lafayette, Senator Godswill Akbabio, has reportedly sacked his press secretary after he was captured on camera with a Ghana must go back containing, you know, hard currency. According to a report by local newspaper Aqua Ibom Daily, the sacking of the chief press secretary to the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs may not be an, an unconnected with the mismanagement of their recent visit by the Minister to Chief Government Ekbomupolo, alias Tom Polo. An ETA Ekong is said to have attracted the ek of his principal. Senator Gosville Akwabio, when pictures of a large Ghana must go back suspected to contain millions of hard currency were seen on the social media being escorted by the minister to the creek. It is believed that the Akwabio's philosophy, what money can cannot do, mon more money can do, has led to alleged filtering of billions of public funds on frivolous expenditures. The visit to Tompolo followed a seven-day ultimatum where the ex-militants threatened to disrupt operations by the NDC, NDDC and other federal government parastatas if a substantial board is not put in place by the minister. However, during the visit, reports confirmed that Akbabio and his entourage were seen coming out of the creeks, but without the big bag they dragged with them. Whatever the contents of the bag, it was enough for the ex war law to grant an extension to the ultimatum he issued, with the minister given till the end of June to constitute the substantive board for the Regional Money Spining Intervention Agency. However, Mr. Government Ekwomopolo disagreed with the notion that Akwabio's money moved him to shift grounds. In a statement, he said he reviewed the early ultimatum he issued last Monday due to the aftermath of the consultative meeting held at Oporoza in Baramatsu Kingdom in Wari Southwest local government area. Delta State by leaders, youths, and stakeholders from the region are not any form of inducement. Ekwempolo said he waded into the matter because of his love for the region and Nigeria noting that it could not be compromised by money and other material things. But Senator Godswill Akwabio is said to have been greatly embarrassed when the pictures of one of his aides carrying the huge bag attracted widespread condemnations and ridicules from the media. He blamed Anietje Ekong for negligence and careless in the pictures he sent out to the public. He, his anger was further heightened when it was discovered that no external camera had access to the minister's visit, which was done by boats and highly restricted. A letter yesterday by the chief of staff to the minister, Sir Etekamba Umaren, announced that Anete Ekong has been replaced by Jackson Udom, publisher of an online media platform, Peace Reporters. Jackson Udom, a one-time reporter with Tribune newspaper, had worked under Anete Ekong in the media team of the minister. Hmm. Why would you even expose a Ghana must go back and you know allow escorts, you know, to escort you with a Ghana must go back? Isn't there a modest way to carry money? Don't you have briefcase? That is to tell you that these our politicians are greedy they are greed for money is too much like he's saying would say what money cannot do it is money that will still solve it well our money is going down tompolo don't shift ground when it job finish it will make noise again another million will enter his account mm. nonsensical people tompolo please collect more after all gumi is collecting his own using organized banditry mm. Well, according to Emmanuel Udesen, he says, stupid writer from the base machinery. It is only money that's contained in Ghana must go bags. It's not only money. What about the drinks the Honorable Minister presented? Did he carry them by hand? From the press release, it stated clearly that the former CPS has been redeployed by the Honorable Minister. Therefore, conspiracy theorists can go to hell. Hmm. It is a big shame that Akwabio 
who decamped from PDP to APC to avoid being arrested and prosecuted for his herculean magnitude of corruption during his tenure as governor of Aqua Ibom State. He is still manifesting the tyranny of the barbarism of corruption in NDDC under this APC regime with impunity. It is paradoxical as well, barbaric, that everywhere Akpabio goes, one or two of his aides will always carry Ghana must go bags full of millions of naira and dollar. Hmm. Well, Tompolo just Kukuma collect the money. Akpabio corruption no be here. Well, that's why most of them will start running from PDP to APC to hide under the shield of APC so that they, they won't be probed. Like the uh, governor of Kano State, Governor Gandhiji also, was also probed and accused of receiving bribe from a contractor, a foreign contractor, and he later debunked and denied that it was a photoshop or video shop, that he, it wasn't him and it wasn't the one. And it was very glaring that he, the governor of the Kano State, is the one receiving that funds, dollars, you know, foreign and hard currency. But he denied it just because he's in APC. They will hide under the shield of APC just for them not to be probed or prosecuted. Hmm. You see that our government of today are full of scam and they are full of, uh, how will I call it, uh, corruption theory. That's why all of them start running. Whenever you are in APC, as far as you are in APC, you are covered. That's the same way last month. Governor of Cross River, Cross River State, Ben Ayade ran from PDP to APC and they welcomed him with a great open hand just because he, he has done so, you know, wrongly. I wouldn't say he has done so well. Yes, he must have done so well wrongly uh, when he was in AP, uh, PDP just for him to hide uh, under APC and cover his, you know, atrocities. He knows that as soon as the tenor ends, they will probe him if he's still in PDP. So that's why he ran to APC to cover his antics. Well, his antecedents will still be opened. God knows how to expose them and God knows how to judge all these people because they are the ones, you know, milking Nigeria into jeopardy, making Nigeria into bankruptcy. They will go abroad, borrow money. They will come back, share it among themselves. Well, who do I blame? If not Tinumbu, who sold his bad rights to the Fulani people. The government of the day are doing their own. Uh, many politicians are doing their own. They have put Nigeria into bankruptcy, into debt. PDP, PDP, we said they were not good. Now, we voted APC in. See what is happening. Insecurity everywhere. Killing everywhere, kidnapping everywhere, destruction everywhere, and the government of today is not saying anything. Well, what is your take and what do you deduce from this? Thanks for listening and God bless.